Hello and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following problem. It says the annual income of couple excluding HRA is rupees 1,80,000. He contributes rupees 4,500 per month in provident fund and pays rupees 8,000 annually towards LIC premium. Find the income tax including surcharge to be paid by couple in the last month of the year if he paid rupees 1,000 per month as income tax for the first 11 month. So this is the slab for the rate of income tax. Let's now move on to the solution. Now the first step is to write the gross income of the assessee. Gross income of couple is rupees one lakh eighty thousand. Now the second step is to find all the savings. Now we are given that he contributes rupees forty five hundred per month in provident fund. That is PF is rupees. 4500 into 12 that is 54,000 and we are given that he pays rupees 8,000 annually for LIC so the total savings is rupees 62,000. Now, the third step is to find taxable income by subtracting all the savings from the gross income. So, taxable income is equal to rupees 1,80,000 minus 62,000 and that is equal to rupees 1,18,000. So this is taxable income. Now we will see the slab rate of income tax. Now his income is taxable income is 1,18,000 which comes under this category where the taxable income exceeds rupees 1 lakh but does not exceed rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand and in that case rate of tax is given by 10 percent of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees 1 lakh. Now income tax payable is equal to 10% of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees 1 lakh So it is 10 by 100 into 10 taxable income that is 1,18,000 minus 1 lakh that is the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees 1 lakh. So this is 10 by 100 into 18,000. So this is equal to rupees 1800. So this is income tax payable. Now surcharge 
is 10% of the amount of tax payable if income tax exceeds rupees 10 lakh. Now his income is 1 lakh 80 thousand which does not exceed rupees 10 lakh. So there is no surcharge. surcharge. Now the education says is 2% of amount of tax payable. So we now find the education says. which is 2% of income tax payable. So that this is 2 by 100 into 1800. So the education says is rupees 36. Now Now we find the net payable income tax. Is equal to the income tax payable which is rupees 1800 plus the education says which is rupees 36. So this is equal to rupees 1836. Now, we find the income tax already paid. Now, we are given that he pays rupees 1000 every month as income tax for 11 months. So, it is income tax already paid is rupees 1000 into 11 he has paid income tax for 11 months so it is rupees 11,000. Now the net in income tax payable is rupees 1836 and the income tax already paid is rupees 11,000. Therefore the tax deducted at sources is equal to rupees 11,000 minus 1836 and this is equal to rupees 9,164. That means couple doesn't need to pay income tax. In fact, he will be paid Rupees 9,164. So the answer is rupees 9,164. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.